नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन ए मार्केट टू फर्म एफ वन एंड एफ टू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग होमोजीनस प्रोडक्ट द डिमांड फंक्शन दैट इज इनवर्स डिमांड फंक्शन इज बींग यूनस पी इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव क्यू वन प्लस क्यू टू वायर पी इज द यूनिट प्राइस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट एंड क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू और द आउटपुट फ्राम द फर्म एफ वन एंड एफ टू रेस्पेक्टिवली सपोज कॉस्ट फंक्शन ऑफ एफ वन एंड एफ टू आर सी वन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी क्यू वन एंड सी टू इज इक्वल टू टेन प्लस पॉइंट फाइव क्यू टू स्केयर रेस्पेक्टिवली ओके दीज आर द कॉस्ट फंक्शन ऑफ द टू फर्म दैन द टोटल प्रॉफिट अर्नड बाई बोथ फर्म बोथ द फर्म एज्यूमिंग परफेक्ट कॉम्पिटेटिव मार्केट इज वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द पार सॉरी प्रॉफिट दैट दीज टू फर्म विल गेट ओके एज्यूमिंग वी हैव परफेक्टली कॉम्पिटेटिव मार्केट सो वट वी आर बींग यून सॉरी वी आर बींग यून द इनवर्स डिमांड फंक्शन इज वन ट्वेंटी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव क्यू वन प्लस क्यू टू दिस इज द इनवर्स डिमांड फंक्शन एंड कॉस्ट फंक्शन फॉर फर्म वन इज बींग यून एस इज ट्वेंटी क्यू वन एंड फॉर सेकेंड फर्म वी आर बींग यून कॉस्ट फंक्शन इज सी टू इज इक्वल टू टेन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव क्यू टू स्केयर ओके सो हाउ डू वी सॉलो दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वट वी विल डू हियर फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड द टोटल रेवेन्यू फॉर फर्म वन एंड टोटल रेवेन्यू फॉर फर्म टू एंड मॉर्नल कॉस्ट फॉर फर्म वन एंड मॉर्नल कॉस्ट फॉर फर्म टू ओके सो लेट्स कैलकुलेट फॉर फर्म वन लेट एस ए फॉर एफ वन what will be the total revenue total revenue is simply price into output produced by firm 1 okay <coughs> so which means our total revenue will be equal to p is being given as this very function so i will write 120 minus 0.5 if i multiply this so this will become q1 then we have minus 0.5 Q2. This is our P. To this we multiply Q1. Okay. So we will get here 120. Now multiplying this Q1 to each of these terms. So this is Q1 minus 0.5. Q1 into Q1 is Q1 square minus 0.5 Q1 Q2. Okay. This is the total revenue for firm one. Okay, we know the equilibrium condition is our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. Okay, so marginal revenue for firm one should be equal to the marginal cost for firm one. So we got the total revenue. Now we need to find out the marginal revenue. So let us denote T R one is the total revenue for firm one. So marginal uh, revenue for firm one is simply the derivative partial derivative of total revenue function of firm 1 with respect to q1 okay so just partially differentiating this function with respect to q1 will give us the marginal revenue for firm 1 so the derivative of q1 is 1 so we are left with 120 derivative of q1 square is 2 q1 so 2 into 0.5 is 1 so we are left with q1 Okay, this is from the power function rule of uh, differentiation. Minus here the derivative of q1 is one, so we are left with 0.5 q2. Okay, this is the marginal revenue for firm one. Now, what is the marginal cost for firm one? So, marginal cost for firm one will be simply the derivative of cost function of firm one with respect to q1. Okay. What is our total cost? Total cost is being given by this very function. Now taking derivative of this function with respect to q1, so derivative of q1 is 1. We are left with 20. Okay. So at equilibrium, our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. So at equilibrium, marginal revenue. Of firm one should be equal to the marginal cost of firm one, which implies marginal revenue is one twenty 
minus q1 minus 0 0.5 q2 and we equate it with the marginal cost that is 20 okay now if we arrange this we can uh, write it like this so we have here if i transpose this here so this becomes or let me transpose these terms on RHS so they will become positive so we have Q1 uh, plus 0 0.5 Q2 is equal to uh, 120 minus 20 comes out to be 100 okay I hope I am making sense here so this is the equation for firm 1 and similarly using same procedure let's find out the total revenue for firm 2 okay firm 2 total revenue so total revenue for firm 2 will be simply p into quantity produced by firm 2 and p is being given as this very function so we have 120 minus 0 0.5 q1 minus uh, 0 0.5 q2 okay so i'm just multiplying this q uh, 0.5 to each of these terms this is total revenue for firm one then marginal revenue for firm two will be simply that partial derivative of total revenue of second firm with respect to quantity producer that is q2 so taking partial derivative of this function derivative sorry uh, we have to multiply this very function with q2 first okay so we will get here 120 q2 minus 0 0.5 q1 into q2 minus 0 0.5 q2 square okay now taking uh, this is our total revenue for firm second then marginal revenue will be the derivative of this very function with respect to q2 derivative of q2 is 1 so we are left with 120 minus derivative of q2 is here 1 so we are left with 0 0.5 q1 and derivative of q2 square is 2 q2 so 2 into 0 0.5 comes out to be q2 only so we have q2 this is the marginal revenue for firm second now equilibrium requires our so let's calculate first marginal cost for firm second marginal cost for firm second is simply the derivative of cost function of firm second with respect to output that is q2 so this is the cost function for firm second taking partial derivative with respect to q2 gives us marginal cost derivative of constant is zero now derivative of q2 square is 2q2 so 2 into 0.5 is 1 so we are left with q2 only oh this is the marginal cost for firm 2 now using equilibrium condition that is marginal revenue for firm second should be equal to the marginal cost for firm second this is the marginal revenue for firm second 120 minus 0 0.5 q1 minus q2 and we equate it with the marginal cost of firm second that is q2 okay when we solve this comes out to be so what we can do here um, <clears throat> if i transpose these terms to rhs okay so this will become q2 then we have so let us do one thing here <clears throat> i can do one thing here if i transpose these terms so we have zero 0 0.5 q1 okay when i transpose this to rhs so q1 q2 plus q2 will become 2 q2 2 q2 okay is equal to 1 20 okay so we have two equations this equation for firm first and this equation so sorry this is for the firm second and this is for firm one now to get the optimal values of q1 and q2 we will solve these two equations okay let me see if i have the space here to do to solve this so let's write it here so we have q1 
plus 0 0.5 q2 is equal to 100 and we have this 0 0.5 q1 plus 2 q2 is equal to 120 okay let us try to solve these system of equations here so what we need to do we need to make the coefficient of either uh, q1 or q2 same in both equations okay so if i multiply uh, this equation with 2 okay if i multiply this equation by 2 so the equation will become 2 into 0 0.5 comes out to be q1 okay now 2 into 2 is 4 4 q2 is equal to 120 into 2 is 240 okay so now let us we have this equation and this equation okay uh, my endeavor was to make either the coefficient of q1 and uh, q1 or q2 same in both equations so i just make uh, the coefficient of q1 in the second equation same as that of q1 okay by multiplying both sides by 2 now we can subtract these two equations okay if i subtract what we are being left so this will become this is minus this is also minus this is also minus so q1 minus q1 is they will get cancelled so we have 0 0.5 q2 minus uh, uh, minus 4 q2 so we have actually so let us see what is 4.0 uh, minus 0 0.5 so if we subtract the point three go three so we are left with minus 3 q2 is equal to 100 minus uh, 240 comes out to be um, so we are left with 140 here okay minus 140 so minus minus gets cancelled so we have <coughs> am i doing the calculation right or not 240 so we have here 3.5 okay i am really sorry for these small mistakes here 3.5 actually we have so which implies q2 will be equal to 140 upon 3.5 okay 3.5 if we divide it by so what will come out actually i have not solved this question so we have 140 upon so 3.5 can be written like this 35 upon 10 so we have 140 upon 1 into 10 into 35 so we have Five seven fives are thirty five, seven twos are fourteen, so we have twenty here, five ones are five twos are ten, twenty into two is forty. So I guess q2 should be equal to forty. So we got the value of q2 is forty. Now just plug q2 is equal to forty in what equation? Let us put here the value of q2. That means q1 plus 0 0.5 into 40 should be equal to 100 which gives us um, q1 is equal to 100.5 into 40 is 20 that is 100 minus 20 comes out to be am i doing the calculation right here So we have 100 minus 20 obviously uh, 100 minus 20 is 80 that means optimal value of q1 comes out to be 80 okay so we got q1 and q2 now just plug these values into the market demand function okay so i have no option but to rub uh, so let me rub this out here okay so just plug the value of q1 and q2 into market demand function that gives us p is equal to 120 uh, minus 0 0.5 uh, q1 and q2 is uh, uh, 80 
plus 40 so i will write here 80 plus 40 so this is uh, 120 minus one half of oh sorry that is 120 so this is two 60s are 120 minus 60 comes out to be 60 that means price is will be sorry price will be 60 okay now what will be the total profit earned by both firms both firms so total profit earned by both firms will be equal to total revenue that is price into quantity produced by firm one uh, plus price into quantity produced by firm two okay minus cost of firm one that is 20 q1 minus cost of firm second that is 10 minus 0 0.5 q2 square okay when we subtract uh, the total costs of firm one and two from the uh, total revenue we will get the aggregate total profit okay so pi will be equal to now what is p and q we calculated p is 60 q1 is 80 so we have 60 into 80 plus again 60 into 40 p, p into q2 okay minus uh, 20 q1 is 80 okay then we have minus 10 minus 0 0.5 i will write it like this then we have q2 square that means 40 into 40 square okay so this is 40 square okay so let's <coughs> try to figure out what will it come so let me write here okay so uh, this is 4800 or so 4800 plus six four the this is 2400 okay minus this is a two are 16 this is 1600 minus 10 minus one half of uh, 1600 okay so this will come out to be let us uh, do the calculation here mm. so we have here zero zero so zero zero what's oh, okay bar we have two here so what's okay shut up is 7200 then we have here eight eight hundred okay so this is twenty four hundred uh minus eight hundred minus sixteen hundred comes out to be minus twenty four hundred so we have twenty four hundred to this if we subtract ten uh, this will come out to be twenty three hundred ninety okay so we have twenty three hundred ninety okay if we subtract these two so zero we go zero so we have here actually i have not um, solved it um, earlier so i'm not able to do this basic stuff here so now okay no we don't have nine here we have 11 sorry 10 minus 3 this is 7 okay then we have 6 minus 2 which comes out to be 4 okay i guess this should be the answer to this question i am not sure uh, whether the calculation is right but uh, the process is very much same here okay so just calculate the total revenue of both the firms then calculate marginal revenue of the both firms and also calculate the marginal cost of the fourth firm just the, then use the um, equilibrium condition that's marginal revenue of firm one should be equal to marginal cost of the firm one and then we can find out the profit function i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you